Gianni Ubriaco, the Soul Pilot with you again. Thanks so much for joining me. So it's Good Friday time. So happy Good Friday to all of you. And regardless of what religion you follow or don't follow, it's a time to acknowledge the passing of Jesus, the crossing over of Jesus. So that's what we're going to do today. So take your time closing your eyes, relaxing, going within. To a place of peace, calmness, a place of gratitude and appreciation for Jesus. And everything he did. How much he helped this world, how much he contributed, how he spoke on love and taught us so many different lessons. How he led by example through his actions, through his words. what he did and what he didn't do. And just take this time to say thank you to Jesus. Thanking him for his sacrifices. for helping us, for helping this world. For serving as a divine example of how loving we can be, of how peace-filled we can be, how we can be ambassadors of God here on earth today at this time and always thank you Jesus from your heart to his continue to say and feel and emanate thanks and gratitude May he continue to rest in peace and may his legacy and his loving energy continue to live on with all of us, this entire world, and help this world to be even more loving and even more peaceful. And at this time, we're going to connect with Mother Mary, the mother of Jesus, who on this day many years ago witnessed her son being put to death. She serves as a reminder, as a testament of strength, of faith, resiliency, unending love, unconditional divine love. Mary is known as the Queen of Angels for her loving legacy, for bringing us her beloved child, Jesus. And so today we connect with Mother Mary, Queen of Angels. And we ask her to bring us messages for her highest good at this time. And take your time opening up to Mother Mary as she enters with her beautiful wings, her beautiful loving energy, Her message for all of us today is one of grace. And she asks us, she encourages us to have grace and to use grace, to be graceful, just like Jesus, just like her. 
And the affirmation she'd like us to repeat is, I am filled with the same beauty, poise, and divine perfection as all of God's other creations. So say it to yourself in your mind and out loud. I am filled with the same beauty, poise, and divine perfection as all of God's other creations. And accepting that truth, opening up to the next message that Mother Mary has for us. And the message is about mothers. And the affirmation she'd like us to repeat now whether you are a mother or not, the message is for you to say, to accept, to know. I open my heart to my mother's human humanness and her divinity. I open my heart to my mother's humanness and her divinity. So she encourages you to open your heart as well to your humanness and divinity and she asks you to be even more divinely loving in this human form to bring all the love and the light that we are made of that we come from that is our home that is our natural energy our divine angelic energy and bring it here in this human form in this physical world at this time. To be loving with everyone as much as we can, to be motherly, compassionate, and pathetic with everyone as much as we can, to practice that love, to make peace with our own mother and all those who have mother figures in our lives or who we are mother figures for or caretaking figures for, to be grateful for it, and to continue to do our best to be loving with everyone. Accepting that message, and then the next message from Mother Mary is about God. And she asks us to affirm in a loud, clear voice I step out of the way and surrender any need for control in order to make room for God's healing love to flow through me and your situation and this entire world. So take your time letting that message, letting that affirmation come through and align with it fully and repeat it one more time I step out of the way and surrender any need for control in order to make room for God's healing love to flow through to flow through me and my life whatever's going on in my life and throughout this entire world and finally one last message she has for us is about signs. And she asks us to repeat this affirmation. I watch for, notice, and trust the signs that heaven continually sends. One more time. I watch for, I watch for notice, and trust the heavenly signs that continually come. That heaven continually sends. Take this time thanking Mother Mary for these beautiful messages, thanking Jesus for all he did for us, for crossing over, for sacrificing for us, for being an example of love for us, remembering him today and honoring him today, taking all those beautiful energies, coming back slowly back to this time, back to this place, ready to be examples of love and light that he's asking us to be here and now.